Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, Father Lord, we come to you to worship at your feet this morning. Join me to declare with the angel of God that holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. Let us sing unto him this morning. Blessed Trinity, we bless your name, Lord, this morning. Hallelujah to the Lord God Almighty. Let us praise him this morning. Our Father and our God, we thank you. We praise you because you are the God of power. We thank you, our Lord and our God. We praise you for by your power, the world, the whole world, the whole universe came to be. Hallelujah to your name, O Lord. Thank you, mighty Father. We praise you because by your power, you fashion us in your own image. Hallelujah. Blessed be to the name of the Lord, our Lord and our God. We praise you this morning. For you have created all things to speak of your unconditional grace. Lord, we thank you this morning. We bless your name, Lord, this morning because you are from eternity to eternity. You are unchangeable, God. We praise you, Lord, because you are the source of all life. Yes, Father God, you are the God, our God, our righteous God. We adore you this morning. Father, Lord, your word tells us in, in your word that, Lord, in Acts chapter 7, verse 52, it says, which one of the prophets did your fathers not persecute? They killed those 
who had previously announced the coming of the righteous one, whose betrayers and murderers you have now become. Lord, we thank you. Lord Jesus, we are called to seek the kingdom of God and the righteousness of this kingdom. As it says in Matthew 6, 33, you are the righteous one. You are the, the one that is full manifestation of this righteousness. In seeking righteousness, we are literally seeking you. We look to you with a heart full of love because of your purity and goodness. We lift your name in honor. You are high above all else, seated in the heavenly realm as the righteous one. Every decision of yours is just. Every thought of yours is righteous. You work all things together for good because in you there is no evil. In you there is no sin. In you is the light of life itself. Lord Jesus, we thank you. We come before you this morning. On behalf of ourselves and of our nation, regarding the sins we have committed, we have not neglected to care for the environment, your creation, in a manner which is honoring to you. We use it without thought of the future. We contaminate it without realizing that we are polluting your perfect plan for us. Lord, we treat one another with contempt, with anger, with strife, and even murder. Often the most innocent of us all, the lives of unborn souls. Lord Jesus, we are asking you for forgiveness. Forgive us for the sins of our nation. As we all collectively responsible for, before you, Lord, forgive us. Anything that the accuser of the brethren we accuse us of this morning, Lord, forgive us because you are the righteous one. Thank you, Lord, for your righteousness. Thank you for giving us an example of focusing on what truly matters in life. Your word speaks of what it means to be righteous, and that is to live a life abiding in you and your word. As Colossians 3, 12 says, as those who have been chosen of God, holy and beloved, put on a heart of compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. The holiness speaking of in this passage reflects you as the righteous one. Thank you, Lord, for showing us exactly what it means to live righteously. We are to be compassionate. We are to be kind. We are to be humble, to be gentle and patient. We are to love like you have loved. So, Lord, help us. Refine us according to your name, righteous one. Take away that which is in opposition to your righteousness in our life, O oh Lord. Help us to grow in a way that will reflect your righteousness. Make us to be patient, to be kind, to be loving and compassionate, Lord. Especially to those who make life difficult for us. Remove every distractions from our life. Keep us from abiding in and reflecting your righteousness, Lord. Convict us when we are wasting our time. Convict us when we are sinning. Direct our thoughts toward your righteousness. Lord, help us dwell on you and your love more often. Let your righteousness come through us to others, O oh Lord, we pray this morning. Bringing them the compassion and the love they need in order to grow in their relationship with you and desire for you. So, Father God, do that miracle in our life this morning. As we have come to your presence, O oh Lord, let our life be transformed. Let our hearts be transformed, O oh Lord. And whatever be the barrier, Lord, we ask you that you remove it in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, illuminate our hearts, even as we go into the word. And as we pray, illuminate us. Help us, Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus. 
Amen. Hallelujah. Let us bring our Bible. We'll continue our Bible reading. The Acts of the Apostles. What is it that they are doing when the Holy Spirit comes upon them? That is what it means. The Acts of the Apostles. So that we can learn from it. Chapter 5. This morning. Acts 5. Now a man named Ananias, together with his wife Sapphira, also sold a piece of property. With his wife's full knowledge, he kept back part of the money for himself, but brought the rest and put it at the apostles' feet. Then Peter said, Ananias, how is it that Satan has so filled your heart that you have lied to the Holy Spirit and have kept for yourself some of the money you received for the land? Didn't it belong to you before it was sold? And after it was sold, wasn't the money at your disposal? What made you think of doing such a thing? You have not lied just to human beings, but to God. When Ananias heard this, he fell down and died. And great fear seized all who heard what had happened. Then some young men came forward, wrapped up his body, and carried him out and buried him. About three hours later, his wife came in, not knowing what had happened. Peter asked her, Tell me, is this the price you and Ananias got for the land? Yes, she said, that is the price. Peter said to her, How could you conspire to test the Spirit of the Lord? Listen, the feet of the men who buried your husband are at the door and they will carry you out also. At that moment, she fell down at his feet and died. Then the young men came in, and finding her dead, carried her out and buried her beside her husband. Great fear seized the whole church and all who heard about these events. The apostles performed many signs and wonders among the people, and all the believers used to meet together in Solomon's colonnade. No one else dared join them, even though they were highly regarded by the people. Nevertheless, more and more men and women believed in the Lord and were added to their number. As a result, people brought the sick into the streets and laid them on beds and mats so that at least Peter's shadow might fall on some of them as he passed by. Crowds gathered also from the towns around Jerusalem, bringing their sick and those tormented by impure spirits, and all of them were healed. Then the high priest and all his associates, who were members of the party of the Sadducees, were filled with jealousy. They arrested the apostles and put them in the public jail. But during the night, an angel of the Lord opened the doors of the jail and brought them out. Go stand in the temple courts, he said and tell the people all about this new life. At daybreak they entered the temple courts as they had been told and began to teach the people. When the high priest and his associates arrived, they called together the Sanhedrin, the full assembly of the elders of Israel, and sent to the jail for the apostles. But on arriving at the jail, the officers did not find them there. So they went back and reported, we found the jail securely locked, with the guards standing at the doors. But when we opened them, we found no one inside. On hearing this report, the captain of the temple guard and the chief priests were at a loss, wondering what this might lead to. Then someone came and said, Look, the men you put in jail are standing in the temple courts teaching the people. At that, the captain went with his officers and brought the apostles. They did not use force because they feared that the people would stone them. The apostles were brought in and made to appear before the Sanhedrin to be questioned by the high priest. We gave you strict orders not to teach in this name, he said. Yet you have filled Jerusalem with your teaching and are determined to make us guilty of this man's blood. Peter and the other apostles replied, We must obey God rather than human beings. 
the God of our ancestors raised Jesus from the dead, whom you killed by hanging him on a cross. God exalted him to his own right hand as prince and savior, that he might bring Israel to repentance and forgive their sins. We are witnesses of these things, and so is the Holy Spirit, whom God has given to those who obey him. When they heard this, they were furious and wanted to put them to death. But a Pharisee named Gamaliel, a teacher of the law, who was honored by all the people, stood up in the Sanhedrin and ordered that the men be put outside for a little while. Then he addressed the Sanhedrin, Men of Israel, consider carefully what you intend to do to these men. Some time ago, Theudas appeared, claiming to be somebody, and about 400 men rallied to him. He was killed, all his followers were dispersed, and it all came to nothing. After him, Judas the Galilean appeared in the days of the census and led a band of people in revolt. He too was killed, and all his followers were scattered. Therefore, in the present case I advise you, leave these men alone, let them go. For if their purpose or activity is of human origin, it will fail. But if it is from God, you will not be able to stop these men. You will only find yourselves fighting against God. His speech persuaded them. They called the apostles in and had them flogged. Then they ordered them not to speak in the name of Jesus and let them go. The apostles left the Sanhedrin rejoicing because they had been counted worthy of suffering disgrace for the name. Day after day, in the temple courts and from house to house, they never stopped teaching and proclaiming the good news that Jesus is the Messiah. Hallelujah. Amen. May the Lord bless the reading and hearing of his word. Amen. Amen. Now let us prayerfully declare that Lord, Lord, I need you. Yes, Lord. Just like the psalmist said. Psalm 51, verse 10 to 12. Create in me a clean heart, O Lord, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence. And take not the Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation. And uphold me with the free spirit. Uphold me with the free spirit, O oh Lord. Isaiah 11 verse 2. And the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him. The spirit of wisdom and understanding. The spirit of counsel and might and the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. Hallelujah. Let us thank the Lord this morning because he has promised that Father Lord, your word says that the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him. Let the spirit of the Lord rest upon me this morning. Let the spirit of wisdom, the spirit of understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, and the spirit of the knowledge and of the fear of the Lord rest upon me, Lord, according to your word. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let the Spirit of the Lord rest upon me in the name of Jesus. Lord our God, we need that Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray this morning that everything within me, pushing me into error in the name of Jesus Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus, I cry against you this morning. Anything within me that is pushing me into error, will you say that? Ananias and Sapphira made an error. Lord, this morning, anything within me pushing me into error to make wrong decision or to say the wrong word, Lord, let it be separated from me this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Let it be separated from me this morning in the name of Jesus. Pray this morning that, Lord, 
Let every root of pride and sin in my life receive the fire of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord, my Father, I pray that every root of pride and sin in my life receive fire, receive the fire of God and burn to ashes. In the name of Jesus Christ. As Abraham was called to lead, to venture into the unknown, Trusting in your promise. Empower me to trust in you, Lord, I pray this morning. Pray, my brothers and my sister, that as Abraham was called to lead, to venture into the unknown. Trust in your promise. Empower me to trust in you. In the name of Jesus Christ. This is the new beginning of a month. The, the December month, the unknown. We do not know what is lying ahead of this month. But Father God, as Abraham was called to lead, to venture into the unknown, trusting in your promise, empower us to trust in you, Lord, as we step into this month of December, the last month of the year, O oh Lord our God. We're trusting in your power, trusting in your ever faithfulness, O oh Lord. Pray this morning that as Moses was called to lead your people from slavery to the promised land against all odds, O oh Lord, empower me to be a leader in the name of Jesus Christ. O oh mighty Father God, as Moses was called to lead your people from slavery to the promised land against all odds, O oh Lord, my Father, empower me to be a leader in the name of Jesus Christ. And I want to encounter you as Moses did, Lord. Lord, pray this morning. As Joshua was called to trust in you and you alone, empower me to trust in you, mighty Father. Empower me to trust in you and you alone, O Lord. Because you are the mighty warrior, the man in battle, the one that will fight my battle for me. Lord, as Joshua was called to trust in you, and you alone, empower me to trust in you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Let us pray this morning that, Lord, as someone was called by you to a life of service, let me serve you. Oh, Lord, my Father, as someone was called by you to a life of service, let me serve you. Even in my old age, some of us are giving up already. No, there's a way that God can use you this morning. To surrender your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. Let him use you in a way that is pleasing to him. Lord, as someone was called by you to a life of service, let me serve you in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray this morning that as the prophets were called to proclaim your word of judgment, regardless of the cost to themselves, help me, Lord, to be sanctified in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to be a vessel so for no Lord. This is a new month, the last month of the year. As the prophets were called to proclaim your word of judgment, regardless of the cost to themselves, help me, Lord, help each one of us here, Lord, this morning, to be sanctified for the master use, to be a vessel of honor, to the glory of your name, O Lord, our God. As John the Baptist was called to be a messenger in the wilderness, preparing the way of Christ, Help me to be a true witness. Pray, my brothers and my sister, this morning. That as John the Baptist was called to be a messenger in the wilderness, prepare the way of Christ. Help me to be a true witness in the name of Jesus Christ. Help me, Lord, to be a true witness in the mighty name of Jesus. Help us, Lord, this morning. Pray this morning that as the 12 disciples were called to leave the security of their livelihood to follow Jesus Christ, Lord, help me to leave my comfort zone for your location for my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Mighty Father God, as the 12 disciples were called to leave the security of their livelihoods to follow Jesus, help me to leave my comfort zone for your location for my life. In the name of Jesus Christ, 
I surrender myself to you this morning. Let us surrender to the Lord this morning. He is the Lord of all. He is the I am that I am. We surrender everything to you, Lord. Everything we surrender to you. Pray this morning for your home that my Father lay the wall of fire, the wall of the blood of Jesus around my home day and night in the name of Jesus Christ. I bring this household into your hand, oh Lord. I'm asking you, let your wall of fire, the blood of Jesus Christ, surround my home day and night in the name of Jesus. Let us extend it to our loved one this morning, our family that are far away, our children this morning. Ask the Lord, that mighty God, that bring my children, my grandchildren, wherever they are, oh Lord. Let the wall of fire, the wall the blood of Jesus Christ surround them, surround their home, their place where they are in the name of Jesus, day and night in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus, let us pray this morning that no wickedness shall prosper at the gate of my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, you gate, be opened. Be open for the King of glory to come in into my life, into my household, into my neighborhood this morning. No Wickedness shall prosper at the gate of my life. No wickedness shall prosper at the gate of my city. In the name of Jesus Christ, pray for your city. Pray for your neighborhood this morning. Bring everything under the control of the Almighty this morning. You are a light. Let your light shine by standing in the gap. This morning, in my place of work, no wickedness shall prosper. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus, let us pray this morning. That evil shall bow before me in the name of Jesus. As I go out today, evil shall bow before me in any shape, in any form. Evil shall bow before me in the name of Jesus Christ. Any wish of evil for me and my family, it shall backfire in the name of Jesus. Because the word of God said, the righteous is rescued from trouble and it comes of the wicked instead. Any evil wish for me and my family, it will not stand. It shall go back to the sender in the name of Jesus Christ. For the word of God said, whosoever dig a hole shall fall into it. Whosoever shall roll a stone, it will roll back unto him. Therefore, any wish of evil for me and my household shall backfire in the name of Jesus Christ. Every arrow of evil thoughts in the name of Jesus go back to your sender. In the name of Jesus, every arrow of evil thoughts go back to your sender. In the name of Jesus Christ. We're standing on the word of God this morning. That every evil was spoken against the goodness of God of my life will not prosper in the name of Jesus Christ. Because the word of God says, Isaiah 54 verse 17, No weapon fashioned against thee shall prosper. And every mouth that shall rise up against thee in judgment, you shall condemn. Because this is the heritage of the servant of the Lord says the Lord God Almighty. Therefore, this morning, every evil was spoken against the goodness of God in my life shall not prosper. In the name of Jesus Christ, extend it to your family, extend it to your ministry, to your career this morning, that every evil was spoken against my ministry, against my career, against my, my business, against my marriage, it shall not prosper. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'm standing on the authority of the word of God this morning. Every evil was spoken against the goodness of our life, it shall not prosper. In the name of Jesus Christ, pray this morning that in the name of Jesus, let every hidden household enemy be exposed and be disgraced. In the name of Jesus, Father Lord, let every hidden household enemy be exposed and be disgraced in my life. In the name of Jesus Christ. This morning, this is the month, the last month of the month, and the beginning of this last month. I remove my name and the names of my family members from the record of untimely death. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. I remove my name and the names of my family members from the record of untimely death in the name of Jesus Christ. I take divine insurance against any form of accident and tragedy by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. I take divine insurance against any form of accident and tragedy by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. I soak my life and the life of every member of my family in the blood of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. Pray this morning that as this year come to an end, Uncommon help shall be my Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. Uncommon help shall be my Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. Uncommon help shall be the Lord of my children, the Lord of every member of my household in the name of Jesus Christ. That as this year come to an end, we are in the last month of the year. Uncommon door of breakthrough shall open unto me in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus, as this is the beginning of the last month of the year. Uncommon door of breakthrough shall open unto me and to my household in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Let us go to the word of God. Encourage ourselves. In unlocking the power of the Holy Spirit in your life. This morning, we're speaking and talking about the speaking in tongues. That is a prayer, is a praise and self-edification. Speaking in tongues. We read it. Let me read it from Acts of Apostles. To remind us again. Verse 4. It says, All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit enabled them. As the Spirit enabled them. Take mark of that. You see, one of the many miracles that took place on the day of Pentecost was the believer speaking in other tongues. And I want us to know that there's no other subject in scripture that has been as misunderstood as the phenomenon that took place when the Holy Spirit fell on that little band of holy believers. You will see all kinds of interpretation all kinds of things being spoken about this thing. But the word of God is clear. And as a result of this, some churches will not allow the manifestation. And they will not even encourage their, their congregation in this aspect. They will not teach about it. Because we take the word of God in out of context. That is the problem that the church has. And some of us, we will hold on to one thing and we will not see the other part of it as well. The Bible records that they began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. It's a miracle. They were supernaturally empowered to speak. And you know, the actual miracle was in the hearing. The Bible says everyone had them speak in his own language. And he mentioned the differences. It was an international gathering. But at the same time, if you look down in that chapter 2 of Acts, verse 13, that some, however, made fun of them and said they have had too much wine. Because others were hearing but there are some who are not hearing. Okay? That is what it indicates. But we are to do everything in order. Let's say you are a music teacher, a music director, and you come to the people to start speaking in tongues. We will not understand what you are speaking. Let's be honest. We will not 
because the spirit is enabling you maybe you are you are high up there some of us are not there and you start speaking in tongues the bible teach us against that as well but this morning i'm focusing in the aspect of that speaking in tongues is a prayer is a praise and self edification paul says that one who speak in a tongue speak not to men but to god that is in first corinthians chapter 14 verse 2 for anyone who speak in a tongue does not speak to people but to god indeed no one understands them they utter mysteries by the spirit you get it now that means that tongue is a form of prayer speaking in tongues is a form of prayer because in verse 14 of that chapter 14 of first corinthians he said if i pray in a tongue my spirit prays but my mind is unfruitful so what shall i do i will pray with my spirit but i will also pray with my understanding i will sing with my spirit but i will also sing with my understanding so you see you can sing you can pray in the spirit in tongues but the most important thing all this is for self-edification so when you come to the public Yes, the Spirit of God will come upon you, but you must know, you know, the Spirit is also subject to the Spirit. You must be able to control yourself. You do not want to give a message and you started speaking in tongues, speaking in tongues. No. Unless there is an interpreter. And there are some people they say, okay, speaking in tongues is speaking in a in a known language. I believe that. And I also believe that speaking in tongues is also in a, in a language of the heavenly language. That sometimes you may not know. Sometimes you will know what you are saying. Tongue is also a way in which we edify or strengthen ourselves. 1 Corinthians 14, 4 again. It says that anyone who speaks in a tongue edifies themselves, but the one who prophesies edifies the church. We must come to that understanding. Because Jude said, encourage us, you know, command us to edify ourselves. Jude 20 said, but you, beloved, building yourself up in your most holy faith and pray in the Holy Spirit. Do we say it? Jude 20, pray in the Holy Spirit. Keep yourself in the love of God. Self-edification is only bad if it is done as an end in itself. It is good to take whatever step you can to edify yourself, to build up and to strengthen your soul so that you might be better able and equipped to build up others. Do you get it now? The goal of being empowered by the Holy Spirit is so that you will be able to impact life. So that you'll be able to be a vessel of transformation in the life of others. So that God can use you. So I encourage you. And as I said, it's not there's no formula. The spirit will enable you as you surrender yourself. The more you surrender for the Holy Spirit, the more it will fill you. It's not a, this one we are talking about, it's not just a one time. The one time is when you give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit has come upon you. But for you to be empowered, to live the life that God wants you to live, you must be filled. And this is a daily, a regular thing. And may the Lord give us understanding 
in the name of Jesus Christ. So this morning, as we said, the miracle has already happened. And the greatest miracle of all is the new birth. So miracles may come your way that are huge with no explanation. But the intervention of God on your behalf. But most of our miracles come day by day and often suddenly when we least expected them. If you have not given your life to the Lord Jesus Christ, don't pray. Any other prayer that will ask the Lord Jesus Christ to come and perform the miracle of new birth. So this morning, let us pray. That Lord, the greatest miracle of all is the new birth. The way you met me when I where I was. Forgive me my sin. Lord, forgive me my sin this morning. I confess, Lord. Forgive me my sin, Lord. Forgive me in the name of Jesus Christ. Forgive me my sin. Anything, forgive me. Come into my life by your Spirit and live in me. Come into my life by your Spirit and live in me forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus. And as I said, if you want to be filled with the Holy Spirit, there is no formula as you surrender. See what the apostles were doing. They were in the upper room. So go to the upper room. And that can be in your room. Devote yourself to the word of God. Read your Bible and see what is happening. If you truly desire and it will come to you. And for those of us who have been filled for a long time, the only way you can revive it is begin praises. Take your hymn book. Begin to sing, surrender. And you will see that out of nowhere, the Spirit of God will come upon you. And you will speak. You will speak in the language you do not know. Do not resist it. Speak it out. Release yourself. And it will happen. And you will develop from there. We need it. If it's just for prayer, for praise, and for self-edification, we need it so that we can be a vessel unto the Lord. So, Lord Almighty, we thank you this morning. Our Father and our God, we thank you in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, our God, we pray this morning that your Spirit will come upon us. Give us more understanding that, Lord, you are giving us everything that pertains to life and godliness. Everything that we need, oh Lord, to live this life, you have given it to us. Lord, we surrender ourselves to you this morning. We yield ourselves unto you, Lord, this morning. Holy Spirit, the Spirit of truth, we are asking you that you will illuminate our heart illuminate our mind and help us help us empower us in the name of jesus christ holy spirit of god empower us empower us in our prayer in our praise in our self-edification empower us holy spirit empower us you have given us the everything that we need to live a godly life. So, Lord, we're asking you this morning that will there be any sin in our life that is preventing us the manifestation of your power? We're asking you, Lord, that you will remove it in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, you have commanded us to be, that be not conformed to this world, but be you transformed by the renewal of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Lord our God, I pray for my brothers and my sister this morning, that the grace, the abundant grace of God, to live righteously and to be perfect before you and before man every day of our life, let it be released upon us in the name of Jesus Christ. Ancient of this, empower us with your perfection, with your uprightness, 
and an overwhelming fear of you in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Almighty Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, because we know as we ask of you, you will empower us. Blessed be to your name. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. We continue our prayer for intercessory this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. We bless your holy name. This morning, we are interceding, you know, for those looking for, for change of jobs, change of career, that the Lord will intervene in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we bless your holy name as we lift our brethren before you, looking for a career change, looking for a job. Holy Spirit, we thank you this morning that you speak to their heart. Oh, Father, we thank you. We bless your holy name. Matthew 7, 7 to 8. It's also to come to God in boldness when we are making a request. It says, ask and it will be given to you. Seek, you will find. Knock and the door will be opened unto you. For everyone who asks receives. The one who seeks finds. And to the one who knocks, the door will be opened. Oh, Father Lord, we are standing upon your word this morning. As we lift our brethren before you, Lord. As we ask you for a job that befit the, the beloved. Oh, Father Lord, we thank you this morning. Lord, we bless you because we know that you are more than able, O Lord God, to provide this job. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we thank you this day. Lord, we ask this morning, in the name of Jesus, that you will provide a job, a career that is suited, O oh Lord God, for the needs of your people, for the needs of our brothers and sisters in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we thank you this morning. Lord, we bless your holy name this morning. Blessed be your holy name. Hallelujah to your name, Lord Jesus. We give you all the praise. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, I am that I am. Blessed be your holy name in the mighty name of Jesus. I want to We lost connection. I believe she did. That she has lost her connection. She's back already. Unmute yourself, sister. It is well with our soul. This morning, we're praying for job, for job, for yes. God to interfere in our careers, in the job, for those, especially for those who are looking for job. So let us lift them up before the Lord this morning. Are you back now, Sister Tobu? Uh, 
but the audio is not working so we'll continue in the name of jesus father lord we thank you lord our god we thank you lord because lord we know that you love our brethren lord god almighty especially those who are looking for job lord those who have, have job interv interview lord our god we asking you father in the name of jesus that you will grant them favor in the name of jesus let us ask especially some have sent out their resume to different places they have not got response let us ask that god almighty wherever that resume is where they bury it that god divine will assume the resume and so that they will find favor in the name of jesus heavenly father we pray the lord our god that our brethren that are looking for job any one of them lord many father it has been months years oh lord that they have sent out their resume and there is no response father in the name of jesus we're asking you lord for god of favor that you will favor them in the name of jesus christ oh gracious father we pray the father lord because your words say if there's no if you do not work you should not eat so father lord god almighty you do not want us to just be laying around lazy but father lord to work with our hands so father we do pray for this our brethren that are looking up to you for job lord Lord, open the way. Make a way for them where there is no way, Lord, I pray. Lord Almighty, we are asking for your blessing upon them. Father, in the name of Jesus, that you will bless them, O oh Lord. Let your blessing be upon them, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we pray that you will remove every mountain that is standing on their way of getting the good job, the good career that they desire in the name of Jesus Christ. The one that will bring glory to your name in the mighty name of jesus oh father god almighty we asking because father lord you said that we should ask so father we're asking you lord that we bless them build their life abundantly in the name of jesus christ we believe that new life and new favor have been ordained for our brothers and our sisters that are concerning their job father lord we pray that oh lord that they will receive this new life and new favor in the name of jesus christ oh lord Lord, I pray that the gift of heaven will favor will be upon their life. We declare favor upon them in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you for new grace and new favor, new prosperity and new blessing coming into the life of our brothers and our sisters in the name of Jesus Christ. Because, Lord, we believe that they are the apple of your eyes, O oh Lord. Thank you, mighty Father, Lord. Lord, our God, we pray thank you because father you favor them you love them they have been choosing from the foundation of the world to receive your grace and favor so father lord you do pray we lift them up if you know anyone by name lift that person up that father god let your grace be in favor be upon this fellow this person in the name of jesus christ oh lord mighty father we pray lord that this our brother and our sister will receive us now favor concerning their job concerning their employment in the name of jesus christ lord our god this is a new month a new beginning let the door of new opportunity be open for them in the name of jesus ask the lord that father open door open door every door that have been closed against them let it be open in the name of jesus christ every door every good door that has been open closed by the enemy in the name of jesus let it be hopeful in the name of Jesus. Why we all need. Let us pray. Some of us are in a place of work. We are due for promotion. Let us pray that any power sitting on the promotion that is due us, let them be unseated in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord our Father, that you will go and speak on our behalf in the name of Jesus Christ. Speak on behalf of our brothers and our sisters concerning their job, Lord God Almighty, that we show mercy and favor upon them in the name of jesus christ lord we pray that you give them favor in the sight of the world in the sight of their employer in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus ask the lord this morning that lord satisfy satisfy us lord with your favor like not naphtali in the name of jesus christ oh lord mighty father satisfy us lord with 
favor like laughter in the name of jesus christ oh lord our father let us have favor with you lord and with men in the name of jesus christ we are asking for favor lord for every one of us for our brothers and our sisters in that place of work lord this morning concerning their employment concerning their career lord that favor favor in the sight of their boss in the name of jesus christ let them find favor lord you will grant life and favor lord and father we pray that you will visit each and every one with your favor in the name of jesus christ lord i pray that you will bless them bless each and every one and surround us with your favor like a shield in the name of jesus christ in the mighty name of jesus pray this morning that father for this my brother and this my sister that is looking for job for employment make your his mountain stand strong by your favor in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ lord we thank you this morning because of your favor the enemy will not triumph over our brother over our sister concerning their employment concerning their career in the name of jesus christ thank you mighty father because through your favor you are brought back from captivity hallelujah let praise the lord this morning that the lord i believe that through your favor i am brought back from captivity my brother and my sister are brought back from captivity in the name of jesus christ lord we ask for favor this morning that let our home be exalted through your favor in the name of jesus christ let the horn of my brother and my sister that are looking for job be exalted oh lord through your favor in the name of jesus oh lord our god this is the set time to favor Lord, this is the set time of favor. The set time of favor has come for our brothers, for our sisters, in the name of Jesus Christ. And so, Father Lord, we entreat your favor with our whole heart this morning. For our brothers and our sisters that are looking for a job, oh Lord, that have sent out their resume in different places. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus, send forth your angels to go and speak on their behalf in the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ, oh Lord, let your favor be as cloud of the latter rain upon them in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we pray, let your favor be upon their life as the dew upon the grass in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, my Father, by your favor, the door that has been closed will be opened unto them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. Lord, we bless your name this morning because, oh Lord, of your marvelous loving kindness that you have shown to our brothers and to our sisters. We give you glory, Lord. We say thank you, Father. Lord, we thank you because they are highly favored in the name of Jesus Christ. Blessed be to your name, Lord. This is the month of December. Remember your mercy and your loving kindness, O oh Lord, in the life of every one of us this morning that have come to pray and that we are standing in the gap for our brothers and our sisters. Remember us, O oh Lord, our God. This is the month of December. Lord God Almighty, remember us, O oh Lord, in your favor. Lord, remember us. Remember every member, every household represented on this prayer platform. Remember us, O oh Lord, for your good and for your favor, for your mercy, for your loving kindness. Remember us, O Lord God Almighty. Lord, continue your loving kindness in our life in the name of Jesus Christ. O Lord our Father, we pray this morning let your loving kindness and your truth continually preserve us, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. Hallelujah be to your name. Glory, honor, power be unto you, O Lord, because we know you hear our voice according to your loving kindness hallelujah we bless you lord in jesus name amen and the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god and the fellowship of the holy spirit be with us now and forevermore amen 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 have a wonderful day meet with you tomorrow by the grace of god at the same time 5 a.m